set it. Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to see how you can install VS Code for C and C++. The biggest lab every developer faces while installation is this GCC error. To solve this, I have made a Python automated code exe which set up environmental variable automatically. For starters, you just need two files to keep your CNCPP running, which is VS Code Installer and MinGW64. In the description, you will find website where you can download these both files. So why do you need MinGW64? MinGW provides an environment in which developer can build and compile their code. So to create environment, you first need to set up environment. So let's begin with the setup. I am installing VS Code and MinGW64 in new computer so that we can perform a fresh installation. So first we will install VS Code, which is straightforward. Just do next next. I am keeping everything default. If you want to change directory, you can. The VS Code is installed and this is a hello world in C language. To run this, we will use an extension. So click on extension option here and search for code runner. Click on install to install this. After installation, automatically run button will appear in top right corner. So now let's try to run this. We are getting this GCC error because we have not set up the MinGW yet. So now let's install MinGW setup. Unzip this file. Open the folder and run exe file. I have made this exe with a python code which will automatically add path to environment variable. Now let's just restart your computer to apply changes made in environment. The next day. Now let's try to run this. It works. As you can see it has made an exe file after execution. Now there are some useful settings which will help you in programming. Go to the setting and search zoom and check this box. Now you can zoom in and out with your mouse pressing ctrl plus scroll which will change font size. Another setting is auto save. To save your code every time you make changes in your code you need to save it by doing ctrl s or sometimes you might forget to save. So to auto save this go to setting and search auto save. Drop down and click on after delay. Make this delay 50 and now this will save your code automatically. Now let's try to run the C++ code. And everything works fine. Nichiyo, 